Dr. Eric Berg is a well-known name in medicine. He is getting even more popular for his research on, on the latest health phenomenon and how it relates to Islam and other religions. Just recently, one of his videos got viral, in which his research and study left him amazed over the system that Islam has given to man. What was this miracle? Why was he as an experienced medical doctor amazed so much? Before that, check this out. They did not know it was their last Ramadan. So what excuse do we have now to not learn the book of Allah? This Ramadan, learn all the stories from Quran in 30 days. Copies are limited, so order yours now. The incidence of cancer is a major health concern worldwide. While the rates of cancer vary between regions, it's particularly striking to note the differences in cancer rates between the Middle East and Western countries. According to the latest available data, cancer incidence rates in the, in the Middle East are notably lower as compared to Western countries. For instance, in Iran, the incidence rate of cancer is 18%, while Saudi Arabia and Egypt follow with rates of 16% and 14%. In contrast, the incidence of cancer in Western countries such as the United States, Canada, the UK, Australia and Germany ranges from 22.8% to 38.4%. Can you notice the stark differences? There is a whooping 20% difference in the incidence of cancer in the two parts of the world. Despite the fact that people suffer from diabetes, blood pressure issues and obesity in the Middle East, just like the Western population. Then what is the reason Westerners suffer high cancer incidence? Medical science is still struggling with how to deal with cancer, how to diagnose it, how to prevent it. But there is no answer. Then why are the rates not the same in all parts of the world? Why is there so much difference? It clearly means that there is something in the culture, religion or lifestyle of the eastern countries such as the Middle East that is protecting them against cancer. According to Dr. Berg, the biggest reason for this major difference be between the two parts of the world is that the people in the Middle East observe one month of fasting in the holy month of Ramadan. Allah says in the Quran that He has made fasting obligatory for us so that we can be purified. Today man has discovered that fasting does not only purifies our iman, faith and belief but also our bodies. Allah says in the Quran, O you who have believed, decreed upon you as fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. Studies suggest that fasting could help to reduce the risk of cancer by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. These two factors are known to contribute to the development and progression of cancer. By reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, fasting could potentially help to reduce the risk of cancer. But that's not all. Fasting could also help to regulate insulin and blood sugar levels which are associated with an increased risk of several types of cancer. In addition to cancer prevention, fasting could also improve the effectiveness of cancer treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy. By making cancer cells more vulnerable to treatment and reducing side effects for patients, fasting could potentially improve the chances of successful treatment. That is why the concept of intermittent fasting is rapidly growing in the Western countries. Fasting in Islam, on the other hand, has been there since the very beginning of religion in this world. Every prophet who came to mankind with a sharia, brought with him the gift of fasting. A research conducted by students of the University of Howard proved that when a person is diagnosed with cancer, fasting can help destroy the cancer cells. So even if a person develops initial stage cancer and he continues to fast, he may unknowingly have destroyed his cancer. Isn't this amazing? Muslims preventing and treating such mortal diseases only through submitting to their Creator. Subhanallah. This proves that the Quran and Islam are not something that have been brought to us by a man. Otherwise, how could an ordinary human, a man, know about fasting back in those days? It is surely Allah the Almighty, the Supreme Power, who can possess this much knowledge 
that only a small portion of it mankind has managed to achieve till yet. Subhanallah. This also proves that Islam is the complete code of life. Islam is that one versatile religion which not only gives the concept of the creator and worship but also ensures that man, the naib of Allah, gets the healthy life he deserves to live. This is just one small example. The concept of morning prayers, wudu and cleanliness, the teachings of the Prophet regarding eating and drinking habits, all later proved to be healthy lifestyles for humans. Comment below and let us know what other medical secrets the Quran had already offered before man and his science could even reach there. They did not know it was their last Ramadan. So what excuse do we have now to not learn the Book of Allah? This Ramadan, learn all the stories from Quran in 30 days. Copies are limited, so order yours now.